All right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the Hashem Rechach for the Spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barakatham. And uh, I want to talk about the name change. Uh, it's been pretty big news today, Facebook changing its name. Um, I actually saw an article about this a week or two ago that said that they might be looking at a name change. But, you know, I thought that might have been like, you know, down the line, like a year or something. But, uh, yeah, it came out this week or uh, today. Uh, Facebook changes company name to Meta. And, uh, you know, there's a reason behind why Esau does what he does, everything that he does. For the most part, you know, and it's usually some some form of sorcery or witchcraft. You know, it, it's almost always designed to ensnare you and to uplift him. All right. So you, you need discernment, you know, on what this devil's MO is. Now, we know what his MO is, you know, but when he does certain things, he likes to uh, he likes to drop hints, do things in plain sight. You know, that's that's one of the MOs of, of masonry. You know, that's a higher level of witchcraft is to be able to pull the wool over somebody's eye in daylight in broad daylight in plain sight you know so he'll he'll hide things messaging coding you'll see it in movies and whatnot um that basically tells you what he's doing now the company name is meta which begs the question what that name means but let's read a little bit of here uh it says facebook on thursday announced that it has changed its company name to meta the name change which was announced at the facebook connect augmented and virtual reality conference reflects the company's growing ambition beyond social media. The rebranding also comes after the company has dealt with a barrage of news reports over the past month stemming from whistleblower Francis Hoggins' trove of internal documents. So, <laughs> and one, and one, on one side, this name change is convenient for Esau. Why? Because he's getting brought into Congress, you know, every other week. He's having to answer questions because people are, 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 are snitching on them, you know, <laughs> they're, they're revealing secrets of things that they got going on. Now, if you know anything about the company, Facebook on the surface level, um, what they are is a, uh, is a social media company. You know, everybody's pretty much heard of Facebook. They have the most social media accounts of any other platform. All right. Now they own Instagram as well. Okay. So they also own uh, WhatsApp. So if you have Instagram or WhatsApp, Facebook also owns those companies. Um, but the important thing is that I wanted to bring in, you can read this article too. Uh, this is on CNBC. What people don't realize is that uh, Facebook bought a company called Oculus Rift. And Oculus Rift is a VR company. They make these goggles that you see on this guy, this, this uh, guy's head who <laughs> you might be a robot. And people, people speculate on that. Some kind of chimera or something on this nigga's a, a weirdo, man. Uh, but they bought this company called Oculus Rift back in like 2014 or something like that because they want to go down the path of uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. Now, the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality is in VR, augmented VR, virtual reality, the entire everything of what you see is basically computer generated, everything. In augmented reality, um, you actually see what's in front of you but you, they can add things to the background. So one example of virtual reality, um, or sorry, augmented reality, I'll say, because that's a little bit more uh, harder to explain, is a popular game called Pokemon Go, right? This is a very popular game that came out. Um, so this is a, so this is a, this image right here basically describes what augmented reality is because when you hold his phone up you see everything these leaves right here that's actually real that's actually somebody's backyard but in that real background you can add artificial things in it so the entire thing isn't isn't fake it's just you can you can augment the reality basically if that makes sense now virtual reality it might look something like this you put on the goggles and everything you see is completely computer generated so that's that's basically the difference in what this guy wants to go down into. But um, a long story short, Facebook 
it's not just a social media company they're one of the biggest marketing tools on the planet they own more metadata than any other company all right that's why this name stuck out to me because the word meta goes into behind or beyond all right so it says uh let's get the I'm gonna, before i get uh that it says meta referring to itself or the conventions of its genre self-referential uh so let me get denoting of a change of position or condition denoting the position of behind after or beyond that's really what the word meta means so when uh whenever you hear the word meta what you usually hear the top two uses of the word is in metadata and metaphysical right so metaphysical is anything spiritual because it's anything that's behind the physical world anything that's behind the uh the uh the visuals the anything you can see hear taste anything that's behind that would be considered meta all right and that's what metaphysical is when it goes into paranormal stuff like ghosts and spirits and apparitions that's called the metaphysical all right because it's behind the physical world and what you can detect you know now we all know we have a conscious we have a spirit you know that's that's the metaphysical aspect to us all right so that's kind of what the word meta goes into and on the metadata side when you go to like an image right images even images a photo has something called metadata now metadata is the data that's behind the image so this image right here what's behind it it'll tell you see how it says 590 by 350 the uh the resolution that's called metadata it's not the actual pixels and colors of the image itself but it's the data behind it there's also timestamps when you when you send a photo over a text message or over uh uh or just copy a data back and forth it can tell you the timestamp of when the photo was taken it can tell you the resolution of the image it can tell you the file format all of that's buried inside of the file when you see a photo and it's like four megabytes it's not just the the graphical surface level of the image it's also the metadata that's buried into that file as well too so these guys facebook have become basically masters at metadata all right every little thing behind it and every time you go click on a website you uh you like a photo or you know or if you got voice activated uh microphones in your home like alexa and all of that that collects data on you man metadata and facebook is 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 the chief of it <laughs> all right so it makes sense to me when i first heard them go to to meta because that's basically what they specialize in is metadata and they can sell metadata they can say if you if you run this ad to so and so there's a 30 40 percent chance that they'll buy this you know and that's how facebook basically got rich was through advertisements you know people willingly going on facebook saying oh i like this i like that you know they're posting about this they're hashtagging this and that you're willingly giving that data over for free all right to facebook and they're selling it all right and what they're selling is metadata all right so i found that very uh interesting now let me go back to uh let me get the acronym because there's another acronym for it as well too and we say this in the gaming community a lot when you play a game you have something called the meta now meta is an acronym it stands for most effective tactics available you know so if you play call of duty you know there may be a certain gun that you use on a certain spot of the map you know and they'll say using this gun and this map is is the meta now because that's the most effective way to uh, to get something done but it it don't just apply to gaming it applies in anything you know it's all over uh it's used all over reddit you know so um you know when esau does things man he, he can do things with double meanings you know not to speculate too much on it because we know ultimately what this guy's goal is the, the scriptures written has written it you know it's, it's ultimately to usher us in to the mark but that brings me to uh to this movie trailer i want to show you one of the akim had put posted it in the uh brother uh yashawamba's uh video earlier 
and uh, it said it reminded him of this movie. And I watched the trailer. I was like, that's exactly it, man. So I'm going to play this trailer. And you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to, like, Facebook and what their role is, you know, in terms of, like, metadata and what and how they play into the, uh, the end game, I'll call it, you know? The path to building superintelligence requires us to unlock the most fundamental secrets of the universe. Imagine a machine with a full range of human emotion. Its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person in the history of the world. Some scientists refer to this as the singularity. Professor? I call it transcendence. A series of attacks conducted by a radical anti-tech group known as Rift. They hit AI labs all over the country. We lost decades of research and development. It's radiation poisoning. The bullet must have been laced with it. The effect is irreversible. Will's body is dying, but his mind is a pattern of electrical signals. We can upload his consciousness. We can save him. Not like this. Assuming that this works, if we missed anything, a thought, a childhood memory, how will you know who you're dealing with? Oh my god. I can't feel anything. I'm here. You need to get me online. I need more power. It may be intelligent, it may even be sentient. This is not well. Shut it down. Shut it down? It's him! Your friend crossed the line. They don't know the danger. This is astounding. So how do we fight it? You can't. An AI is like any intelligence. It has needs. The real will die. It will start to evolve. Where's the machine? To influence. Perhaps the entire world. So you, uh, so you basically saw it there, man, you know, and he, he, he said, uh, a tech terrorist company, a tech terrorist group called Rift, you know, and that, that, uh, this Zuckerberg guy bought a, uh, that VR company called Oculus Rift, you know, so this guy's been, you know, this movie came out with 2013, you know, a year later, I think he bought that company, Oculus Rift. So this guy knows, man, you know, he, he, he's up to something, you know? And uh, it, this that trailer shows you basically what he's able to do with with artificial intelligence, with taking everybody's data, all right, collecting it. You know, he want he wants to be able to take everybody's metadata, make a super a god basically, you know, upload it to a cloud, and he wants to transcend. He wants to be like the Most High, man. You know, and that's and that's written in the scriptures. So I'm gonna get some scriptures because I've been going a while here. So lock you. This is uh, Isaiah 47 and uh, 10. It says, "For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness; thou hast said, None seeth me." All right, because this guy has been slowly collecting metadata. And most people don't realize it. Now, it did come out years ago that they were that the, how much data they they collected, but see. They got so so many people brainwashed, you know. They know you don't care. They know that you're violently y'all sign these uh these iTunes, Apple, Facebook, Google. Y'all sign these terms of agreements. You know they're thirty thousand pages long. Esau knows you're just gonna sign it. All right. He don't. He knows you're gonna sign away your your right for him to track you everywhere. You know. And y'all and y'all don't care. And so because you don't care, he's gonna continue to do what he do, man. You know. In other words, he he's he's looking at it that no one no one cares, no one sees what I'm really doing because we disclosed 
the fact that we're taking all these these this this information this data you know and people are and people are volunteering it anyway it says thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and it has because esau figured out computer science you know you know the the zeros and the ones how to program you know how to uh build electrical grid satellites you know he's got rocket science he, he he's he's learned things about dna and manipulating things and all of these things but he's he's made himself to think that he's he is the most high and he's not it says this wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thine heart i am and no one else beside me <laughs> all right so that's this guy you know when it says transcendence that's what he that's what he feel like he's doing he's going to the next level this is esau's way of of uh uh, of getting what's promised to us you know in that twinkling of an eye you know uh those new spiritual bodies that's his version of doing it on the left hand side you know the esau has a has a, a perversion uh, of everything that the most High created all right all right so that's basically what that goes into now um i'll, I'll get that real quick it's in Thessalonians or Salaki, I can't remember exactly. Uh, is, it, is it twinkling of an eye? Salakia, first first Corinthians uh, fifteen and fifty one it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed and see when this guy johnny depp when he died quote unquote you know that that was their way of immortalizing him they took his consciousness put it in a computer and he transcended he was in all of the all all over the internet he was he was taking down solar uh solar power forms you know he was called <laughs> he, he transcended in other words caused mass destruction all right so this is his version of we shall not all sleep <laughs> all right it says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised and corruptible and we shall be changed so esau wants this desperately he knows this is only for the elect right but what does he do he tries to figure out his own version of it you know like you have superman and you have bizarro <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is this is bizarro, man. <laughs> you know, we would be Superman. All right, we would be Superman, just like that. And and this here, this here is bizarro, man. <laughs> that's that's what he wants. Everything that the written in the script, he's jealous, man. You know. And I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent about this whole meta thing, but, uh, you know, I believe these guys are going to be used instrumentally in that MOTB, you know. So if you're in the know, you know what that is. That's that's Revelation 13 and 16. OK, so <laughs> that, that's that's what Esau wants, man. You know, this is uh, Isaiah 29. I just typed in the word see it us because meta goes into again remember that word goes into beyond behind it's it's meta is the thing that's behind something that's on that's in front of you you know so metadata is the data that's behind the data that you're looking at you know metaphysical is 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 the the workings and the spirit behind the physical world the physical realm you know the things that we can't see it's behind it like a ghost you know a shadow of it you know that's why it says denoting position behind or beyond okay so it says uh <clears throat> isaiah 29 and 15 woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the lord jehovah and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us well the men of the lord are gonna are, are gonna see you man we see you okay and, and and the angels see you and you're being found out in the scriptures it's written that you would be made bare man 
you would be exposed and naked and getting laughed at. All right. And that's happening on a major scale. And, and Joe Biden is just the beginning of people laughing at you, man. All right. But but they but they go into into the into meta basically. It says Ezekiel eight and twelve. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say the Lord Jehovah seeth us not. The Lord Jehovah hath forsaken the earth, and see that's the spirit that Esau actually has, you know. The Lord ain't coming back. Even though he knows prophecy, he still is going to convince himself there's a chance. You know, the Lord, the Lord ain't coming back. I can, I can do what I want with this creation. I, I own everything. I can rewrite the, the DNA of everything. I can block out the sun. You know, I can, I can blow up mountains and, and, and do all, and do all types of manners of wickedness. You know, but the Lord, but the Lord sees you, man. You know. So those are those are my thoughts, you know, on the whole meta name change of Facebook. You know, you brothers, let me know uh, what y'all think. But this movie, Transcendence, it really uh, when the brother put that in the comments, and I saw the trailer, I was like, yeah, that that is exactly what this reminds me of, man. You know, because you, you got to realize this is the devil that we're looking at here. You got the infinity symbol, which is basically two alpha two alpha signals which means beginning alpha means beginning let me, let me type in alpha letter see what it looks like <laughs> that's the greek letter a for alpha you know so when you have here you have two beginnings and meaning there's no end you know the opposite of alpha is omega so you have two alphas here that's basically what the infinity goes into man you know beginning on this side goes into the beginning of that side and it's never ending you know so uh you know that that's that's basically it on that you know so uh hopefully y'all brothers were edified call hello yahweh bashim yahweh shai bahashem rachakwadash wa ababa ball shalom